So tonight we got to see Missing, and this is a sister sequel, a, a spiritual sequel, mm, spiritual sequel. <laughs> to the film Searching from 2019. Pretty sure that's when that came out. Um, I was a massive fan of Searching, uh, which I did show Kaylee. Yes. And you also... I also really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, the producer behind this uh, has had uh, involvement in Unfriended, Unfriended Dark Web, um, Searching, Missing, and Profile. Mm -hmm. So... This company really likes, well, I shouldn't say this company, but this uh, producer and then probably uh, the company as well um, likes to put out these laptop thrillers or laptop horror movies. And so far, I mean, they've been insanely successful with them. Um, the only one that I wasn't huge on was Unfriended Dark Web. I thought that was better than most people did, but I definitely didn't love it. But I thought Unfriended was fantastic. Uh, I thought Profile was very good, uh, and then Searching was, was great. So I was really, really looking forward to this one. And um, what's this about? This is about, um, it's pretty similar to Searching. Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of the roles are reversed. In Searching, a man is looking for his lost daughter. Uh, in this one, a daughter is looking for her lost mother. Mm -hmm. Um and if you've seen Searching, then you then you get the gimmick. If you've not seen Searching or Unfriended or Profile or, you know, um, this is what I mean by laptop, if for some reason you don't know what I'm talking about, is that the entire thing is shown through technology. Um, whether it be someone's laptop, someone's cell phone, um, you know, news footage, mm -hmm. security cameras. You know, there's no traditional narrative filmmaking style going on uh, in these films. It's all as if they recorded all the devices that mm -hmm. these people had and compiled them and edited them in a way to make it a film, um, which is a very immersive way to reach a modern audience that lives so much of its life within technology so not only do you have the more like found footage style going mm -hmm. on here but you've also got it connected through how we communicate and how kind of our brains are locked into certain technologies these days um so uh in comparison to something like searching which i loved i thought this was a freaking really great follow-up um and a huge success once again for these guys yeah it was such an engaging movie, very immersive, and I was really just like, you know, kind of on the edge of my seat the whole time because there's so many twists and turns that the story takes that, you know, you some of them we kind of guessed as they were coming along, but they really do such a great job of building suspense and getting you invested in in this character and what she's going through trying to find her mom. And so I loved, I loved that. Um, but yeah, the style is just perfect for the modern age, as you said. I, I think it's such a creative way to tell a story. And it really does speak to us because our perception has been altered by technology and the way we communicate, obviously, has majorly changed. So it's very refreshing to see this like new style of storytelling. Much like searching, you know, this is first and foremost a mystery. Yes. And so even though the daughter isn't a trained detective or something, you know, you're used to watching some kind of detective mystery thriller where, uh, you know, some uh, trained detective or cop or whatever is uh, looking into the evidence and, and solving the mystery Sherlock Holmes style or whatever. Um, this is just a regular girl mm -hmm. who's trying to find her mom. And as I said, if you've seen Searching, you you get the story. I mean, it's a very similar film, right? It, it goes through a lot of the same beats. and um, But it is its own thing, mm -hmm. for sure. It yeah. just has that same style to it, because that's the style of um, laptop thrillers or laptop mm -hmm. horror. Um, and I, I just thought that this was so, so, like, um, engaging throughout and 
I was so wrapped up in the mystery. And, you know, because this is, as Kaylee uh, was saying in, in the car, mm. because this is unfiction, yes. that this is like supposed to kind of be presented to us like it's real, mm-hmm. uh, much like a Blair Witch or any mockumentary or found footage, um, is, is what's happening towards the end, does it start to get over the top? Yes, but it's a film. Yeah, it's for entertainment. Yeah. So, like, I, I don't, I don't want it to be like too realistic. I want it, realism is boring. That's why we're at the theater, right? So, it does go for that gusto in the mm-hmm. end, where things start like there's mystery after mystery after like reveal after you know plot twist. Yes, there's like so seventeen many. of them. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what? There was oh, one shit. that I audibly in the theater was like, what? Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, wait a minute. It just, just completely like flips my entire perspective. Yeah. And I feel like the way they divulge each twist hmm. and the way that they set up stuff in the film to then be revealed later, some of it is really, really smart. Hmm. like really really effective Mm -hmm. there's stuff that happens at the beginning that's then shown later Mm -hmm. and i was like oh that's why it was oh it's such a smart film that's cool and so if you're like really paying attention yes exactly you might be able to figure something out not the whole thing it'd be impossible to figure out the whole thing but you'd be like a little more suspicious yes and i wasn't it, at all. Oh. Because I because of the way they present it, uh, it seems like one thing, of course. This is the misdirect, and it's great. Mm. So there's a good amount of misdirects, and the majority of them worked. And that's exactly what this kind of film needs. And it also needs a great lead and great secondary performances from the people that this lead is interacting with. This is why searching worked. Uh, This is why Unfriended works so well. The acting in that is fantastic, Uh, as is in Searching, as is in this one. Yeah, and, well, I just, the stuff that you were saying earlier about, like, paying attention, like, it does really reward you, the film, you know, for following along and being engaged. Yes. And it is very smartly written, which is, um, this is, like, the perfect film to go to the theater and see if you want to just totally forget about your life, because it's that kind of level, at least for me, where you're just so... It's like very interactive in that way. Yeah, it's very immersive. Mm -hmm. It's so, I just, man, yeah. I was a little nervous going into this one just because I really like this style typically. Um, I've seen pretty much every laptop horror or thriller. I do hope because they did Unfriended, then they did Unfriended Dark Web, and then they did Searching. Then they did Profile, then they did this. And I'm just like, they've gotten into this PG-13 thriller mm-hmm. route. And the first two Unfriended's were R horror. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, can we, can we like go back and forth? Can we compromise and do like, can, can the next one be horror? Please, can we get back to an Unfriended style R-rated one? And then go go do a mystery thriller after that, right? Like just I just kind of trade off. I, I want to, I want another horror from yes. film from these guys yeah. because I think they're, I think they've got this down. They really know there's, and I've talked about this in probably every review I've ever done that has to do with laptop style films, whether it's, you know, open windows or ratter or, um, dead stream, uh, not dead stream with the dead, dead wear. Yeah. I was just thinking about Um, that. I've seen so many, like I've seen, Maybe there are one or two of these that exist that I haven't seen, but I feel like I've seen almost every one of them. If, uh, but uh, the the den, you know, mm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, so in any one of those reviews, I always have to bring up that like there's there's such there's such useful storytelling tools in this style. Yes. Not only with just connecting you to modern technology and all of that, but And this is something they do in every one of these films. And I love it every time because it just gives you that like 
inner monologue or inner thought process without having to have narration. Right. And that's yeah. people typing stuff, the hesitation, mm-hmm. the delete, retype it a different mm-hmm. way, hesitate, hover over send, go back, erase it, type something else out, and then think about it, and then <laughs> send it. And all you're looking at is text on a screen, a cursor moving that pause, but you can you're fill you can fill it in. Right, you yeah, can you can see it in your mind. The person at the computer with their hand on the mouse, even though you're not seeing that sometimes, you can feel their emotion. A mm-hmm. cursor blinking on a screen has emotion to it. Yes, and that's, that's the, amazing. That's the way technology has impacted us because we know like what that you know what that could possibly mean, and it is such a clever storytelling technique. Because we've all done it. We've we all sat there and we're having this like heated discussion or you're talking to this girl yeah. for the first time and you don't want to say a stupid thing. Trust me, I did this with Kaylee <laughs> when I was texting her the very first time we interacted on Instagram. <laughs> I I went to write something and I was like, no, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. And I deleted it and then I was just like... I don't want to feel creepy, but then I don't want to overthink it. <laughs> and I don't want to pause too long to make it seem like I'm overthinking just, it, yes. which could come off right. as creepy. So just fucking say something already. <laughs> it's, I mean, like you said, it is, you really get the inner monologue. And I'm like somebody, I've always really liked the idea with people's consent, like not against their consent, but like reading people's journals. And like, there's a satisfaction in kind of watching like a day in my life type videos where you're getting like the perspective of another human and seeing... I don't know what they do different or what they do the same. And there's a comfort to that. Sure. And these, the style feels like that to me where it's like you really, you not, you you're not the character themselves, but it's like you get to see through their eyes and it's a really intimate way to do that. And it's very, very suited for horror. The, the, you know, mystery kind of true crime, like it works really well with that too. But I, I love the idea of, you know, the unfiction subgenre being, told in this style and like explored more this way i mean of course it's because you know people are trained throughout life to only divulge so much of themselves and there is a persona that a lot of people put on in their daily life Mm -hmm. um and divulge certain amounts of information and certain amounts of who they are and certain amount of secrets and this and that and we all have those you know, quote unquote secrets that are just, you know, maybe they're not deep, dark ones or anything. They're just like stupid ones or embarrassing Mm -hmm. ones or things that we perceive to be embarrassing. So getting that like snapshot, getting that look at someone's diary or looking Mm -hmm. at this like inner monologue or stuff, it gives you a connection to a person in a deeper way because you're seeing who they really are. Right. And that can connect you with them more because you yourself (laughs) can say like, oh yeah, like that is something I do. Or like, oh wow, that's not something I do, but that's interesting that you do that, right? So like seeing a person for who they really are, for real, is 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 totally, (laughs) is a a very um, rewarding thing, sort of, depending on who it is. This must be how like people who are voyeurs or like stalkers feel because they get to like, you know, that like watching somebody. Yeah, but... This is a movie. So that's, it's I mean, that's why it's wrong. <laughs> well, right. right? Because, because you have some privacy, people, right? Yeah, people deserve privacy, of people course. People don't have to divulge these no. things, right? This... But in a storytelling, from a storytelling standpoint, it is so useful to have that kind of perspective of a character. So, yeah. Yeah. I was, so, I was super invested. Um, I loved this relationship that she formed with Javi. Yeah. You'll get to oh. know. Uh, that in Very the film when you watch it super super cool mm-hmm. um, just everything like I want a computer that works this fast right but it this made is, me like this is the, or I wish I could type that fast I, I, can, <laughs> I could type that fast but you yeah. know it made me want like a MacBook I was like yeah. what I want to have everything synced to one place so I could be like responding to text and FaceTiming only you never because I'm always with you <laughs> but it was cool it was like very stylized and uh it, it honestly is like a good way, a good look at how we can use our computers and phones and apps and stuff for so many different things, which 
I've actually started getting into like digital journaling uh, with Notion, this app, and it kind of reminded me of that because you can really customize it. Last thing I want to say, and I think that this is very important. This film, as well as Searching, as well as Unfriended, so on, these films will be looked at as kind of cute gimmicky films mm -hmm. that work on a certain level because of you know um, your attachment to this and that these films are insanely complicated to make and are wonderfully meticulously crafted and I think there needs to be a lot of praise mm -hmm. um, for the people who work on these things because Every single thing is thought out in a way to make you fully immersed and connected to this as if it's real. Mm -hmm. And in order to like, you know, have every window being dragged in this way and, and revealing what's on the screen mm -hmm. and, and notes here and this and the pictures and the way the videos are played in the moments with the music, this shit is masterful. Yeah. And I really, really don't think films like this will get the appreciation because they're not like traditional dramas and people see them as more like, you know, gimmicks of the week kind of movies. Like, oh, well, you know, this is just of its time. It won't age well and this and that. Like, whether it'll age well or not, I don't know. But I can tell you that these are really, really impressive works of art. In my opinion, Absolutely. like when I'm watching it, I'm just like, damn, someone, yes. not someone, but lots of people <laughs> really sat down and played out each one of these segments and frames and, and, and ideas. And we're like, okay, how do we impact? How do we, what size should we make this screen and what information in the background and what should we bring here to bring in later to the film here so that it resonates on mm -hmm. an emotional level but also on a shocking level um, that's going to not only land with the audience like as people but also as an audience that's wanting to be entertained so mm -hmm. great shit really really good and something like this would be so so complicated to film because you have to have it all completely thought out beforehand yeah. everything you're seeing on screen 90 percent of it <clears throat> was thought out sure. before they even freaking started filming course, right yeah. and then i'm sure along the way a little bits here and there, like oh wouldn't it be cool if we put this over here and this and whatever but i i feel like there's a meticulousness to these films and 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 they won't get the praise that they deserve and this happens a lot with films they they see like found footage or you know this style or whatever and they're like that's just a gimmick and it's like yeah but that gimmick is com complicated yes to land yeah. so that's that i said my piece on it i think this is a fantastic follow-up <laughs> to searching yeah. um i like searching maybe a little bit better but i've seen it like four times so maybe if i've seen this a couple more times there's a lot of twists that really work in this mm -hmm. um I don't know, man. I think it's it's kind of on the level. It, it, it's it's really really close. It's a it's a really good movie, and I think um, Storm Reed, right? Yeah, I think that's her name. Uh, who's gonna be um, freaking Riley yeah. in The Last of Us, which, is which so cool. made me very so excited. excited. Um, Connection. <laughs> this this very much sold me on her being Riley a million oh times. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, she was great. And so, so good. Her mom so was good. great. Everyone. And her friend was great. Everyone was so good. <laughs> Javi was great. <laughs> they were just like real people. Yes. And it, that was. And Detective so Singh wonderful. from yes, Saw. I know. Uh, Ken so Leon. Good. Leo. Uh, I forget his name. Kim, Kim Lin, Ken Lin. Ken Lin. No, 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 no. In real life. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. that you're saying his name in the. No. Never mind. Yeah. So. All right. <laughs> so, what'd you guys think? Anything more to say about? No. No. I think we said everything. Okay. All right, well, let us know if you watch it. We are going to watch The Empty Man with Cyrus Arnold and our patrons. You should be there. So uh, you can look in the description below if you want to check out the Patreon. And, you know, like, subscribe. We haven't done that in forever. We haven't done that in a long time. Um, but do all those But things. you know Tell that stuff. Yes. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come we on, We put guys. in so much work all the time. We do. We deserve a 
Freak out. We deserve a click. Just we click. Just literally. Just... But don't click it if you ain't gonna watch. No. I don't want to. I don't want a pity subscription. <laughs> no pity okay? subscription. Click on subscribe Only if you're legit. actually gonna watch the videos. If not, then you know. I hope you find the person you're looking for. <laughs> Good luck in life. <laughs> Which I did not have to say to you. No. Oh my God. I'm like, oh, imagine. Yeah. You were missing from my life. So I went searching and then you unfriended me. No. But then I went to your profile. I'm going to make all the unfriended dark web. I don't got, oh, I had to I go do the dark web. The dark web? Because I unfriended To hire you? somebody to get you to talk to me through a different account. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.